All right, so here's one I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Today we're going to do another long-range ballistics gel test, but this is a bullet that might actually fit the criteria of a long-range hunting bullet. So throughout these long-range ballistics gel tests we've been doing, um, we've had a series going on here. If you guys haven't been following along, feel free to go back and check out some of the older long-range ballistics gel tests. But it's very interesting to see how these bullets actually perform at long range. There's been many people that I've seen do things like simulating long-range ballistics gel testing where they'll reduce the powder charge, get a velocity that would simulate the impact at long range. But with this, we're actually getting the full picture, the full trajectory, everything, and seeing how these bullets perform on tissue at long range and getting some very interesting results some things that I thought might be the case and some things that I didn't think uh, would perform the way they do so really uh, overall just learning a whole bunch from doing this and my friend recently a friend of mine sent me a box of bullets these are the 100 grain Sierra Game Kings um, so they're precision style bullet uh, in an expanding bullet and sent me these to test in six millimeters. So we're gonna test these first in six millimeter Creedmoor. So I did a very generic load development with these. Um, one thing I wanna apologize right off the bat, guys, uh, when I went out and did this ballistics gel test, I had left this ballistics gel in the back of my truck in the box uh, for about two days, uh, not realizing that with the heat out there it was going to cause the ballistic gel to deform a little bit and kind of get some creases from the block and the plastic wrap that it was in. So. Uh, my ballistics gel is not as perfect and as pristine as it could be. I will remedy that with the next one. I'm going to be remelting down both blocks and reforming them. But I did want to note that that I do know that it because it it was warm and it just collected dirt like a magnet. Uh, it was really hard to uh, get as perfect of a picture as I wanted. But beyond that, so what we are doing here today is we're testing the 100 grain Sierra Game King. Uh, in the six creed more so we're doing it for my 28 inch barrel this load is launching at 3220 feet per second so a fairly stout fairly fast load for a six millimeter creed more what i wanted to do what we've been doing with our long range six millimeter uh creed more long range ballistics gel testing so far we've been doing them at 800 yards i figure at 800 yards that's probably the furthest distance that i would ever feel comfortable trying to take a piece of game at with with absolutely perfect condition and i would only do it if i had the absolute right bullet so that's what i've been doing is testing a lot at 800 yards I do a lot of this for myself for my own knowledge as well as to share with you guys so at 800 yards we've been getting some really good performance out of match bullets I wanted to test this at at a distance where I was going to be able to get over a thousand foot-pounds of energy so we brought it back into 630 yards which gave us just over a thousand and forty foot-pounds of energy or just under a thousand forty foot-pounds of energy by my calculation so let's check this out let's see what we get we're gonna put some rounds in this ballistics gel and uh, see how it does come back and talk about it Jump. Now I believe some of the bullet probably came out of that block because I saw, I think I saw dirt kick up. Okay, that was a square hit. I didn't see anything fly out the side. I'm glad I took another shot at that because I was going to stop. All right, that was right in the middle of our velocity range. So that was 3,222 feet per second. I'll show you guys that. You guys see? So, now let's go down here and check this out. All 
All right, so here it is. So first off, I'm not exactly sure what happened here on, I think this is the first impact on the block. Uh, you see, went straight through. I don't see any expansion at all. And then as it transitions into the second block here, uh, now you can see it pushed this second block out of the way sideways, um, started to tumble, was started lost its tip really devastating but it went all the way into the second block and then joined this other wound cavity that from a previous shot and went off into the blue yonder and then i thought that we'd had a pretty good impact so i was going to stop i'm glad that i didn't that next shot that we put on it put it right in the center of the block and Look at this just devastating wound cavity. We're going to go back, measure all this up, check everything out. But just absolutely devastating wound cavity. Starts expanding right at a perfect spot, about four inches. And then the best part of all, you guys probably already saw this, but we've got, ex we've got a capture. So, looks like the bullet is fully expanded this was over just over a thousand foot pounds of energy we've got a fully expanded bullet we'll get this back on the bench cut that out check it out weigh it up see how much weight retention we've got but uh man this is 630 yards with the 100 grain game king and uh that's a pretty pretty devastating result Excited to check this out. So there you have it. So obviously some, some somewhat mixed results. When I first got downrange and looked at this block, I was so excited to see that I had a bullet captured. Um, I didn't even realize that the first shot had performed the way that it did. So what you guys saw there, that first shot obviously it performed completely differently from the second shot. It's almost it, that launched. You guys didn't see the uh, chronograph on that first shot. That first shot that you guys saw hit the gel launched. Uh, 12 feet per second faster than the second shot. So the second shot was actually hit would have hit the block a little bit slower. So at that speed and at that distance, 630 yards, uh, that first shot hit the block and had absolutely no expansion, poked a pinhole straight through the first block, 16 inches of gel, and then as it entered the second block, uh, it's something must have disturbed it I'm assuming and it started to tumble as it entered the second block and then it had there was a wound cavity in that second block that it kind of joined up with and, and launched off into the blue yonder to, to not be found. The second shot however was a totally different story and I was really excited. I got down range, saw that we had captured our bullet, um, saw this awesome wound cavity and that was it for me. I thought that that was how this bullet was performing. Now as you guys saw, our second one performed absolutely flawless. That performed like you would expect a hunting bullet to perform, even at a closer distance. I was absolutely stunned with how well this performed, and it was really kind of it's really kind of a uh, a misnomer why that first one did not expand. Is this a bullet that is just uh, not consistent with expansion? I don't know. Or is it because of the distance and the speed that the bullet had slowed down to? So let's talk about our speeds, our velocities, our energies, and all the things that happened here with this ballistic gel test. So first off, we launched these bullets, like I said, 3,220 feet per second with 100 grain Sierra Game or Sierra Game King, our tipped, I'm sorry, tipped Game King. Um, so at our muzzle, our energy would be 2,302 foot pounds of energy. So if you were to shoot something point blank. 2300 foot pounds of energy were produced from this 100 grain game king uh launching at 3200 feet per second 3220 feet per second so down range at our target now what you saw that first one obviously there was basically no energy dump if you saw you notice as it tumbled into the second block you saw a lot more energy transfer with that temporary wound cavity with all the distortion that happened in the block but with that first with that second shot that hit the block you saw it dumped every bit of its energy into the first block. So first off, it went in about four inches and just absolutely started to explode. Um, you see we got full, I, w I would call this basically a complete expansion. Um, I weighed this up at just over 95 grains retention. Um, so I'm assuming that that little bit of weight loss is met probably just losing its plastic tip. So. That is absolutely stellar expansion. Um, I, that That's expansion that you would expect to see, like I said, shooting something at 100 yards. So 
it's really kind of it's kind of disappointing to me that it did not perform both times and something that I want to do next time is take this out and test it again at a slightly closer distance so we're going to test it I think next time at around 500 yards and see if we can get consistent expansion and if maybe even with this hitting the 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 gel at the velocity that we hit the gel at, which we'll talk about here in a second, um, even at hitting it at that velocity, it didn't expand. So is it, are we right on the edge there and we're at the edge where we're seeing expansion but not consistently? So that's what we're going to find out next. So let's talk about how fast they were going at the block and the type of energy dump, dump that you saw. So at, at the block, at 630 yards, the 100 grain game king here it went in obviously four inches completely dumped all of its energy in exactly where you would want to see i mean i've never i would this is perfect performance from a bullet it dumped every bit of its energy between the four inch and the 12 inch mark of the block so i mean just right in the center of the meat of most of the, the game that you're going to be shooting at with this thing um and it had that perfect spiral wound cavity like i said i know it's kind of hard to see that was my fault from not taking care of my gel before i went out and did this test um so it has that perfect spiral wound cavity that you see and you saw that huge energy energy dump in this first block so that energy dump came from a velocity of 2161 feet per second at the target and 1037 foot pounds of energy dumped into this block all within that first 12 inches so really impressive it exited this first block and made it another six and a half inches into the second block where i removed where i removed it and as you saw we got our just over 95 grains of weight retention which is absolutely outstanding so like i said it's somewhat disappointing that we didn't get a a consistent result I am going to test this closer. If, if I test this and at 500 yards I'm getting consistent expansion and we can consistently get that, um, this may be a bullet that I will pick to deer hunt with this year inside of 500 yards. So it's, these are the things that I'm trying to figure out with these long range ballistics gel tests. I really appreciate you guys for following along. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, there will be the next long range ballistics gel test that I plan to do is another one of the tub nose ring bullets. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Be on the lookout. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.